Welcome back crew, this is Happy Days and here we are again with our 7 Days to Die Let's Play mini-series. So I've been thinking about uh, our character and this area and I'm deciding, well actually I'm not deciding, I'm feeling that uh, this area has pretty much outlived its usefulness. Um, it's been good to get started and upgrade to iron equipment, um, but I feel that uh, a lot of the benefits of this game is just from exploring too. So there's some supply crates that have actually dropped right around here. So I'm thinking we're going to leave our little house. We can leave some of the stuff in there. We might be back one day in this randomly generated world, but most likely not. Um, so yeah, so I thought we'd just get a move on and experience the game. We've got plenty of uh, gear, uh, plenty of building materials. And where did I see those smoke plumes? Was it the other side? We just saw those big orange smoke plumes from up on the building. Where are they? Have they stopped smoking already? Or do you have to be up high to see them, perhaps? Are those zombies still in the pool? Oh, poor zombies. They must really like swimming. Eh. I can't quite see them. Oh well. Anyway. So, on our map, I thought we'd just head east because it's an area we haven't explored yet. And, uh, yeah, see where our fortunes take us. Oh, there's a bloater zombie. I'm also going to just quickly just swap uh, the crossbow and the pickaxe there. It just feels more natural to have the crossbow on three for me. And, okay, let's get going. So, uh, the benefit of moving around, firstly, it makes the game a bit more fun. If you, I mean, with this amount of wood and ingots, I could just shore up and ultra fortify a place, but it does make the game a bit dull. I do like to explore a bit too. Um, so yeah, okay. So we've hit the crossroads. Uh, I reckon let's try going north for a bit and just seeing what's around. So we're looking to bump into more of the prefab locations. So more uh, buildings pre-generated, prefabricated even. I will be looking for loot along the way, any new stuff. And the first food choices I'll be eating are the boiled pork because it has the odor. And just be mindful when you're not eating, put it in your backpack. Um, it has less of a smell radius when it's actually in your pack. It still still does smell, but not as badly. Okay, so cruising along here. Haven't bumped into too much so far. Um, is that a tree stump? No, it's just a rock. So yeah, I guess this is kind of half the fun of, you know, playing this game, just getting out and exploring. I've heard, and I was reading on the forums, and I'm a bit excited, that every seven days the game spawns a uh, super horde that at the very start of the night will instantly run to your location. So that's pretty cool. So say you've just started making your base, you know, it's getting there, like you're going to have a massive mob of zombies. Not like the ones that have passively sort of walked past. These ones actually target your location. Um, so you, your options are you can just run. But if you stay in your base, you're going to try and tear it to pieces. So yeah, it's kind of it's pretty, full, pretty full on. I'm also on the lookout just for any interesting landmarks. So I just noticed this up here looks a bit, bit different. So we might find some ores and stuff as we're looking around. And my character just got a bit puffed. Okay. So let's just check out these walls here. Is there anything good? Oh yeah. 
So here's a bit of ore in the wall. And you can tell it's ore when you hit it, it makes that metallic clanging sound. And it takes a while to break, even with the pickaxe. Checking just for some zombies. Ooh, okay. So that was pretty cool, here's some more. So good to collect naturally. Uh, ore deposits, iron ore, you get quite a bit of smelting out of them, which is good. This is actually a nice natural little area. If you were going to make a base outside, this is pretty good. It's cut off, which means zombies are less likely to come and visit. And uh, yeah, it's got natural walls. It's a problem with making your base just in the middle of a field, that zombies can get to you a bit easier. Which is not good. I think we're just about to hit a biome change. Uh, usually rivers mark a biome change, in my experience. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we're about to hit a wasteland biome. I guess we could keep exploring this way. I mean, that's half the fun of the game, isn't it? Although I do prefer the nice green biome, so... I don't know, this is a tough one. There's also more difficult monsters in the wasteland biome. Uh, hornets, dogs, stuff like that. Oh, it looks like it's staying greenish. Alright, we'll follow it for a bit longer. See what happens. Are we heading... Oh no, we've gone back west. Uh, east, rather. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, hopefully we find some antibiotics soon for our infection. Uh, that would be sad. I think if it keeps going, you start losing more and more stamina each day. Let's take a moment to fill up some of our water bottles too. I think I've got eight empty ones now. So you just select your water bottle and right click on a water source and that'll fill them up. And drinking murky water probably will give you dysentery. It's so got a 50% chance. But we do have one thing of goldenrod tea so we can cure it. So I'll probably let thirst drop quite a bit. Then drink the murky water then we can just drink goldenrod to fix that right up. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so exploring around. And this is the thing with random gen worlds. Worlds. That's a really good purse, that one. Uh, the thing with random gen worlds is like, like we're experiencing now, sometimes you're going to find a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> There's not much going on. Not really any zombies. Not any buildings. Not much. We are finding some more scrap metal, I suppose, which is good. Just keeping a lookout for anything interesting in the forest. Uh, these tin cans I keep throwing away, they, they used to make mines and stuff. Uh, which is more something I'd be interested in doing later. And they're common enough that I don't feel any need to cart them around for ever in a day, just yet. Okay, this is thinning out a bit. Let's take out this little girl here. Or big girl, rather. There we go. Ah, scrap lead, that's pretty good. I thought I noticed backpacks out of the corner of my eye there. Okay, food and a spare club. This is pretty good. I can probably get rid of just those two things. Not as important. And anything good in here? Shotgun pump. Yeah, I might start collecting weapon pieces. And glass jar. I'll swap it with that. Glass jar is pretty useful. Okay. Oh, there's a piggy. I could try and get a couple of shots in here, get some more leather. Okay, 
Okay, we, we hit it. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Just got to follow at a distance where it might stop running. Got him again. Now we just need that kill shot. Where's he gone? Piggy. Hello, Piggy. Is that Piggy? There you go. And this looks to be quite a lot of coal here. Which is cool. So I'm just interested in taking the leather off the pig. Uh, the meat, not so much, although that is a fair bit of meat. Hmm, could I swap it? I guess I don't really need that other club. What I might do quickly. Uh, clubs you can recycle for scrap iron. Let's take the damn stuff. Why not? Okay. Is this... I think it's coal. That's iron though. And we'll take all the iron we can get our hands on. Very useful. Is that more? Yeah. Okay. This is a pretty good deposit of minerals along here. And I, I really recommend when you're sort of new character, don't bother harvesting, uh, digging too big a tunnels under the ground. It's a lot quicker just to look for this naturally occurring stuff along walls. It used to be in this game that if you ran out of stamina, you received a penalty for skills like mining and stuff like that. It seems now there's no real issue with it. Like it takes the same if you've got full stamina or none. Well, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you can hurt yourself for exerting when you've got no stamina left, but my experience does make a difference. I guess the only issue is if a zombie snuck up on you and you're out of breath like this, you really couldn't run, which would suck. Okay, it's not really making a coal sound. I mean, an iron sound. There it is. There we go. So iron makes a massively different sound than stone does. Almost got it. There we go. Okay, oh, there's even more. I haven't made a shovel yet, which is, like in Minecraft, shovel's the best for digging dirt. Pickaxe is pretty useless for dirt blocks. Okay. There's even more. I can't help myself. More, more, more. Alright. I've noticed that the game uses like diamond and hex patterns for the ground. So you can keep... If you dig in a straight line, like... It seems to make a nice little, yeah, hexy sort of shape. No, I'm not cooking eggs anymore. That was a waste of time. Okay, so we've got a ton of coal, which is good. We've got lots of iron ore, lots of coal ore. So doing fine for minerals at the moment. And we've just hit another crossroads, which is pretty cool. So where to go this time? We didn't hit any, uh, didn't hit any, uh, buildings though. So we could turn around and go south, I suppose, and head back down, or we could head north for a bit again, or just keep going east. Eh, let's head east for a bit. Why not? Random worlds, any direction. Oh, there's a house. I was going to say, any direction's as good as any. Uh, let's see if we can empty our supplies a bit here. So we can eat some food. There we go. 
Oh, it's just turned into an empty can. Now oh, that sounds like an airdrop's coming. That is the worst sounding airdrop ever, can I just say? I don't normally pick on games, but that's uh, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> okay. So... We're approaching some houses, which means it's going to be fight time. But we've got plenty of weapons and stuff. Uh, I think I need some pants, actually. So that's kind of cool. And these are leather ones, too. Yeah, nice defense. That's good. It's a nice little pack there. Alright. Let's fight our way into this town. And see what treasures it's got for us. Ooh, nice shot. <laughs> I'm not up myself, I'm just usually such a bad shot that when I do make a shot, I'm like, hmm, that's good. Okay. So, here we go, we got a few of the locals coming out to greet us. Very nice, how are you today? Good. So, still on the lookout for that medical zombie to get, uh, get some antibiotics. Ooh, a gardening hoe. That's pretty cool. And this supply plane, dropping some stuff. It's gonna drop one near us? Maybe on the road? Come on, drop one. Nah. Okay. Let's deal with the zombies. Ah! Don't move. Don't move your head. There we go. Ah, oh, so it appears that you don't need to have your ammunition in your hotbar. Although the benefit, I would argue, is that you can tell how many shots you've got left and switch to melee if you need to. That went right through him. Oh my god. Okay, I'll just melee this one. Beautiful. Alright, let's do a quick bit of searching. Nah, don't need that. Nah. Okay. Good idea to shoot these big boys. The bloated and the spider zombies are the main ones to shoot if you don't have a lot of bullets. Or bolts, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, bullets. Although I'm full and now's not the time for inventory management. Ah, medical zombie. Please have antibiotics. Please. Alright, let's see. Nah, she doesn't have them. Uh, what can I get rid of here? Uh, it's all good stuff. Okay, let's eat some more food. Some sham. Doesn't sound like any products I know in the real world. Any canned ham of varieties. Okay. Uh, some nice water, that's good. I was just considering drinking murky water. And I didn't really want to, so that's a nice alternative. Okay, these two are just sitting nicely on the balcony here. Just chilling out. Beautiful. Okay. So. Thankfully not as many zombies around this place, which is good. Uh, it's still fairly early in the day, so we've got time to make camp. Uh, we've got time to search all the houses and then camp in one of these for the night. Uh, there's zombies in here, so we're going to swap to melee. It's a bit better when you have to act quickly in tight spaces. Uh, it sounds like there's zombies in here. Might be a crawler. Anyway. Oh, I can't see anything. Let's have a quick loot. Ah, more water. Ah. Need to do some sorting. I can... The zombies, they're upstairs. They're upstairs, guys. Okay, let's quickly... Change some of this into scrap. Hmm. What don't I really need? It's all good stuff. Get rid of that. There's plenty of grass outside. 
No. Let's keep checking, make sure the zombies aren't gonna sneak up on me. Ooh, more food. Hang on. Oh, they don't stack. Oh, it's lamb, it's different. Well, that's a bit... That's a bit of a technicality, don't you think, guys? Come on now. Oh, gosh. Inventory. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's quickly get some of that. I really don't want to be leaving food behind. I <laughs> can. Okay, so. Hello, zombie? Okay, there might be some skill books. A cowboy hat. What's the stats on that? Mm, it's pretty good. Not as good as the mining helmet we've got, but... Oh, a gun. Nice. Okay, that's an instant. Let's make room for it. Yeah. And there's some... We've got five bullets and a gun now. This is very cool. Okay, we've got our first official weapon. Nice. And it seems like it's loaded, ready to go. Hello, zombies. I'm going to try out my new gun. No. Nah. Okay, just more junk. Ah, a skill book. Nice, let's quickly read. New recipe. I wish I told you what recipe you got. That would be nice. Okay. Could be something good in here. Let's bust this open. Jeez, these take a while even with the fire axe. Zombie in here? No. Nah. Okay, let's have a quick look. No. Another book. Five new recipes, that's pretty sweet. Okay. And nothing useful there. Alright. So I can hear zombies, but I just can't see them. They must be in this garagey bit. Alright, I did want that garden hoe too. Now let's swap it for the clay for now. Makes a good weapon if I get in a pinch too. So this is... I like this third story in this house. That might make a good base for the night. Uh, I can't hear any zombies. But I'm sensed, which means they're somewhere. Uh, cloth. Let's get rid of the plant fibres. Just make some room. No. Ooh, this is all busted open. Okay, what do we got here? Hunting knife book. More recipes? Nice one, hunting knife, cool. Uh, definitely take that. I don't know if you can recycle things like cooking pots. Yeah, you can, beautiful. Because we only need the one, which I already have. I've heard you can smash toilets for pipes. Um, so I'm interested to try that out. Let's check it out. A short iron pipe. Oh yeah, cool. There you go. So you lose the ability to harvest water indefinitely, but you get an iron pipe out of it. I'd say it's a pretty good trade-off. Uh, coffee you don't really need. Uh, I'm just getting aware of time, guys. Uh, probably need to wrap this up soon. So what we might do is... I'll just finish checking these things. And uh, ooh, more of that. That's good. A few nests outside. Let's get some more feathers for crossbow bolts. Always good. Can never have enough bolts. Well, not until we get lots of guns anyway. Okay, so next video, uh, what we'll do is finish checking out this last place. Last place? We'll finish checking out this last house. Still got to check the final level up there. Looks like the zombies burst out of wherever they were hiding. And the time, it's about three in the afternoon. Whoa. Um, this looks like it might be actually a wandering horde. Which is not good. 
Okay, there is so many of them. Anyway, I'll uh, finish fighting these guys off camera. I might melee a bit to save some bolts. And yeah, next video we'll check out this house here. And hopefully be safe for the night. Alright. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful. And I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye.